Hello, this is Brandon with Come Let Us Reason. Today we're going to be talking about the last days versus the last day. <clears throat> the premillennialists believe that the judgment will be preceded by signs that, we will, that will tell us when we are living in the last days preceding the rapture. These two phrases, the last days and the last day, are speaking of two entirely separate events. The last days speak of the church age. And the last day is the judgment. Go, go to Acts 2, verses 16 through 17. But this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel, and it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. What Peter said was this is that. He was living in the last days the same way we are living in the last days. The last days are what was occurring, as is evidenced by Peter. This is that. However, the last day is always referring to the judgment. John 12, 48, He that rejecteth me and receiveth not my words hath one that judgeth him. The word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. It should be stated that there will be no signs in the second coming of Christ, but it will be sudden and unexpected. There will be no signs. Matthew 24, 36 through 37 is clear on this. There will be no signs, but we must be constantly prepared. We must be ready for the second coming can come when we least expect it. And it will come when we least expect it. As a thief in the night. 2 Peter uh, 3, verse 10. That's how the Lord will come. As a thief in the night, it will be completely unexpected. There will be no signs identifying the last days. So be prepared. This has been Brandon with Come Let Us Reason.